Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today is the first official YouTube episode of Sean's Cooking Corn. Everyone make some noise. Sean's Cooking Corner is really like a pretend cooking show that I started doing on TikTok. And then I think I mentioned it briefly in a vlog once and people were like, yeah, I'd love that on YouTube. So this is the first attempt. So let me know what you guys think. Wait after two. Time out, everybody shut up. Quick disclaimer. I don't, like I kind of just cook bougie. So I don't think I follow a lot of the culinary rules in X, Y, Z, A, B, C, 11, 12, 13. I kind of just do what's worked for me um, all these years growing up. So it's really that simple, I don't know what to tell you. If you see me do something wrong, you can kindly inform me, but y'all be getting buck online and I don't like it. So kindly inform me or I got something for you in the comments. <laughs> I'm making chicken soup today, chicken noodle soup, but I'm gonna make it with rice because I don't know, it's not as good when it's not rice. My little sister is also here to help me out, but I don't think she's gonna be on camera. I think she She'll just be assisting in the back because while she's here, she's the kitchen assistant. She's helping the chef. That's me. Join in! If you don't know where that comes from, join in! Join in! It's from Eric on TikTok. She's so funny. She's so funny. Also, this is from Gymshark. I don't think this is technically a set. I think I'm literally wearing pants and a top, but I'm not even a, a, like a real gym girl, but now I have to be. I simply must get in the gym. No one cares. You're here for cooking. Okay. First up, I'm actually going to start with prepping the vegetables. I think I'm just going to keep it pretty basic and do cucumber. And now I know what you're thinking. Why are you putting cucumber in a chicken soup? Um, I don't know. I like it. And then I'm going to put carrots, I think as far as veggies go. And I know people put celery, but look, I got a friend whose judgment I trust. She said celery don't really be on nothing, so I'm done with it. We got a little sister behind the camera. Like I told you, my mom actually said she's gonna come and show me how to make her dumplings because she makes these dumplings that she would make all the time as we were kids, but it was so good and I don't know how to make them, so she's gonna do it. But first up is the carrots. We're gonna peel and chop our carrots. I said I was gonna make a recipe, but um, I lied. So I'm just gonna do shit and hope that it works out for the best. Funny, like super hilarious joke is that I didn't know you're supposed to peel carrots until like six months ago. So whenever I would eat raw carrots, I would literally take this and then eat it. Um, We have like a compost bin, but I hate like this crap in front of me. Like I hate, also this is not giving like polished cooking show. I barely know what I'm doing. So please, please have some grace. Thank you. Now I know anything I know about knife safety from Gordon Ramsay and this book, this thing right here. So I'm not an expert, not too much on how I chop, none of that. Cause I really didn't even know what this type of knife was until like two months ago. I like when the carrots are just chopped up in my soup. I don't really like biting on big chunks of carrot. I kind of just, I like it to be, <clears throat> now mom, you might have to go back in that room with all that. <clears throat> I just kind of like little pieces of baby carrots. I do need to look at a picture how I made my soup before because I look you don't ever remember what I put in it. I'll make the soup and I'll think I made the soup right. Then I'll realize I missed 95,000% of the steps. I'm also just not realizing I probably should have showed you all the ingredients I'm gonna use first. Now I'm gonna chop the rest of these just like this and then we'll be back. <laughs> Are you trying to get me out of the shot? My sister's on light control, so whatever happens, happens. But now I'm gonna slice up our cucumber. I'm also gonna be dicing it to just be super teeny little baby cucumber, just like our carrots. But I feel like we need a little more because that's just not enough. And I really do love a cucumber. It really adds a refreshing taste to the soup because I think chicken soup can feel very hearty to me. I don't know if that's a common occurrence across the board, but for me, it always just feels hearty unless I put my cucumbers in. Do I look pretty when I chop? How about like this? No? Are you gonna answer my question? It's like a song. We've got our cucumbers and our carrots chopped. Now I'm gonna chop up some shallot and some garlic for the chicken, but I think that's about it as far as veggies go. Now I'm gonna chop the garlic. Okay, aesthetic queen. The giant knife. Period. Now I'm gonna peel some garlic. You know what's funny? I really was a garlic hater. Like, 
for years and years and years and years. Which is funny because I couldn't have told you what garlic tasted like for years and years and years and years. But one day, I just started liking garlic. And now, I put garlic into just about anything I can. I really just love cooking with garlic. So, I'm gonna make two cloves. Because I have a clove down here. And I feel like two cloves is enough. We don't have a whole bunch of chicken. I have some thawing out in the fridge on top of what I have here. But I also tend to overdo it with the chicken. So, we'll really see. Finally, I got to the garlic titties. I think I'm really just gonna use these two. Just cause I don't wanna make it, mm, I'll use three. Okay, 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 that's it, that's it. We're gonna peel this garlic until you see garlic skin, like this garlic skin. I washed and peeled my garlic, so now I'm gonna cut the yucky, bucky, tucky, wucky, wucky, ducky, mucky, shucky, wucky, tucky, all American french fries. Then we're gonna smash the hell out this garlic and chop it up. And smash dash. That's what Gordon Ramsay said. He said smash dash. Like that's what I'm talking about. Yummy in my tummy. You know what I wanted to try? I wanted to try that pickled garlic that that lady on TikTok would eat. She would eat it with like sriracha or something. Then I saw a video recently of her saying she was pretending to like it all this time. What? I thought that was like garlic's number one fan. I thought that lady was. I thought that lady was in charge of the I Love Garlic Club. So to find out that she didn't even like it all this time, that kind of like hurt my feelings a little bit. Like I feel personally affected. Like it's not even funny. Now we're gonna take the literal last baby bit of shallot I have left. I'm not gonna use all of it. I think I'm just gonna use less than half. I find myself reaching for shallot before I reach for an onion. I honestly never really use onion at all. I just like shallots. Shallots feel so much smoother to me and I can chew on a shallot and enjoy myself. I cannot chew on an onion and enjoy myself. I just can't do it. And I'm just gonna chop it up. Not super fine pieces, just small enough that it cooks with the chicken. Okay, now I feel like most of the prep is done. Actually, I think all the prep is done. Now we just have to prep the chicken, start the soup, and then my mom will help us make the... They're not vegans. Dumplings. The dumplings. Okay, now I've cleaned. I went through the literal trenches. I, let me tell you something. I hate chicken. I hate touching it. Everything about it just like what is that? It's gross. Anyway, so I really try to limit as much as I have to touch it to be so real, but it tastes so damn good. I'm having to touch it yesterday once in a while. Like what the fuck I I cleaned all my chicken. Well, I washed all my chicken. Now I'm about to take off all that little nasty stuff. You see that? Yum. Hell no. This gotta go. Give me that meat. Like what? Thank you. And I'm just gonna take off all that nasty stuff. It doesn't really matter if the chicken is super shredded because I'm going to shred it for the soup anyway. So I truly don't care about the appearance. Also, I know some of you may have a conniption because I'm using a steel cutting board. Yes, I know it damages my knives. No, I I really don't care. I will just sharpen them or get a new knife. The chicken is cleaned, finally. So now I'm gonna season. I really just be doing shit with seasoning because, uh, yeah. <laughs> some salt, some black pepper. I really like the black pepper. I'm gonna add a little bit of ginger, ground ginger. Tiny, and I literally mean tiniest bit of red pepper because I really can't handle much of her. A little bit of paprika. Um, I really don't know. Gonna be sorry with you too much about like proper flavor combinations. I also hardly care. So I mean, if you want to tell me something about something, if you're like, girl, lemon pepper and garlic salt do not mix. You know, you could let me know. Y'all know the rules. Don't get up. That was garlic salt. Then I'm just gonna take a little bit of Italian because I really like Italian. That's not a little bit, but it's good. And then my mom's Baileys that she gave me because I don't know, I like putting this on everything. I don't know what to tell you. Then my boyfriend got this ginormous steak seasoning. And when he got it, I was like, why are you bringing this in my house? Um, But it actually tastes so good. So, <laughs> a little bit of that. And the tiniest bit of chicken bouillon. No, I'm not eating it. <laughs> my camera battery did die and also I ran out of memory. So we're back and I'm just mixing around the seasoning I showed you. I did add a bit more garlic salt because I think I underestimated how much chicken I have here. So I feel like this feels, this feels like this should be quite flavorful. I mean, there's quite the punch of salt and 
What are you looking at? And garlic. So I think it should be good. So I think our chicken's just about done. I'm gonna put all the seasoning back and then I'm gonna wash the rice. Start to prep the rice. I'm not gonna start it because the rice, actually I am gonna start the rice because everything else is kind of quick to cook. So actually don't, don't ask me no questions. I'm gonna do it when I do it. I'm gonna start the soup and the chicken now. I really don't have no measurements for you, so sorry. I just got some old ass chicken broth that's been in my fridge. I have two ginormal bottles and then just a little bit of heavy cream. I'm really not gonna put much in there. And then I have the chicken right here. I'm actually gonna start this now since there's so much chicken to cook. This is just some olive oil. Let's put the stove on medium. I've got my grease cover because I really hate grease all over the stove. It actually makes me so mad I could like kill someone. So I'm gonna put some oil on my pan. Then I got my spoon ready for when I baste the chicken. Excuse me, ma'am, that is loud. So I'm gonna start the bigger pieces of chicken. Pop those, ooh, that pan is not even nearly ready. That was embarrassing, cut that shit out. <laughs> and I'm also gonna turn the stove down for the soup because I realized it does not need to be that high because I gotta cook the garlic and the shallots first. Not as hot as I'm ready for, but I'm impatient and I'm really hungry and I wanna eat. Got the chicken on medium high and I'm just gonna let that cook. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in my pot and pop that like a half not even half. I'm just gonna put in not much. Got my garlic in my shallots. I don't really want like a whole bunch of it in the food, so I'm really not gonna put that much. Why am I taking this out? Like I'm losing my mind. No. Yeah, no, I'm losing my mind. Stir that up. I hate the taste of burnt garlic, so I'm really not leaving that for too long. Okay, feel like that's good. I'm gonna start to add my broth and I'm gonna turn the stove down as low as I can. I know you can make broth, but um, hell no. Nah. Yeah. Now, I'm actually gonna add a little the second batch of my broth, and then I'm gonna do the rice. I'm really just gonna show you, I'll show you the whole thing, damn it. Okay, my sister had to make some space, so we missed a little, but I just flipped the chicken, and I just basted, so I'm gonna check the temp and see what we're at. Scooch you, bitch! We're looking for, I never remember these, 165, one, 165. Oh, that looks good. Look how juicy it is. Ugh, I really do this. I'm gonna finish up the chicken and I'll be back when something changes with the chicken. <laughs> hey. So I'm gonna start the rice. I'm gonna get two cups of rice because I only know one rice proportion and that's two cups of rice and three cups of water. So I'm gonna continue to do that portion forever. Two cups of rice. Two cups of rice. And I'm using a rice cooker. Ooh, that's so scary. I don't care. I'm too lazy to sit by the stove and watch some rice. I'm not doing that. Now I'm gonna actually have my sister wash the rice because I don't feel like it. And I'll be back when she's done. Here. Here. You're gonna wash the rice, dear. You're gonna wash the rice. You're walking into the water. Uh. Take the rice. So I'm gonna take some olive oil and toss it at the bottom there. Boom, shakalaka. Then I need three cups of water. A little under, cause I really don't love fluffy rice. I kinda like hard like rice, so. Then I'm gonna add that into my pie. Then I'm gonna salt the water and literally leave that until it's done. I did forget to cook our vegetables. I was literally sitting around like, I feel like I'm forgetting something. That's definitely because I was supposed to cook those first. I'm gonna scoop my boot over here and get my big pot. And this is what I'm gonna do once I take the chicken off the stove. Then I'm gonna have my sister shred the chicken. Oh, um, what am I doing? I literally forgot to baste all of that. So let's put that right back into the pan. So I'm just gonna rip the butter up, toss it in the corner. Where's my spoon? I'm gonna baste my chicken. Yum, yum, yum. Burnt chicken at the bottom of the pan. I know that's right. Mm. Now everything is done. I'm gonna ask my kitchen assist to shred the chicken. I'm the kitchen assist. That would be me. And you're the best kitchen assist there is. Oh no, my eyebrows are growing back. Ah. Now, I'm gonna start the soup and then give her the chicken to shred. I'm gonna put this pot on medium low heat because I don't really need it to be going too crazy. Let me get our veggies. This is our carrot and our cucumber. A lot more carrot than I prefer. Bless you. <coughs> Save you. Thank you. Now I'm gonna stir that up. <laughs> then I'm just gonna add some broth to it so that it can cook with some broth. 
Oh shit. And I just kind of want it to, I want them to soften up a bit separately before they're drenched in soup. So I'll be back when we do something significant. I'm gonna have my sister shred the chicken and then we'll be back. My mom is starting the ducklings. She said she kind of just eyeballs this. There's no measurements and she's got some salt here. Look at her cutie little old lady hands. Then my sister is shredding away at this chicken. And, and that noise is crazy. Mom, you gotta give us a tutorial. What are you doing? Flour, salt, butter. A bit like this, I just kind of crushing up the butter. Sorry, Need some more salt and some more garlic salt. Little dumpling ball. They're so cute. Anytime my mom would make anything, I would be like, hey mom, do you think you could add like a dumpling or two just to replace? Because they're so good. I kind of didn't really want lumps of garlic and chow in the soup, but I don't think it's gonna taste bad, so. I'm gonna do it anyway, and then I'm gonna add the tiniest bit of the heavy cream. And honestly, we're just waiting on the rice at that point, so pretty excited. I'm gonna add in the rest of my shallots. Okay, the rice is done. This is the perfect rice for me. I love when rice is like this because I do not like soft rice. I like hard, crunchy rice. I literally will recook my rice in the morning on the stove because I want it hard and crunchy. I've added some butter to it, a little bit of salt, and that's about it. I'm only gonna add a little bit of the rice to the soup because the rice really suctions up all of the soup. And you'll come back the next day and there's no soup left. So I'm only gonna put a bit. I've already tasted our soup. Yes, I taste from the pot. This is my family, it's totally kind. It's delish. I'm gonna add just a little bit of the rice so we can have the rice in there. And our soup is done. I'll just, you, I keep the rice separate so you can add rice to your soup as you like. And that's it. I'm gonna put it out on plate it and then I'll show you the end. I'm so happy you guys like the soup. It's so good. My mom said we need to check to make sure these aren't doughy inside. It still looks a, like the tiniest bit doughy still. Now my mom does wash the dishes here while I cook, so she's a little loud over there washing dishes, but she gotta do her job, so I can't really do much about that. But I've been liking making us these little sauteed tomatoes. I don't know what they're called, but they're just good. I don't know if anyone else likes them as much as I do, but I love them. This angle was crazy. Like, why would you do that? This is gonna be delish. My stomach is literally rumbling. Rumbling, rumbling. Rumbling. Y'all know what that's from. If y'all, she hasn't finished Attack on Titan, she doesn't know. Rumbling, but. rumbling. You do? No. Excuse me. Girl, oh no, nice. You smudged it. The girl put the camera on my lip. Wait, this guy is a pre filter. It's like air. I lied. I feel like I should fire you, I fear. This is gonna be so delish. This is where it gets very serious because you can get dumpling lump -a lump poisoning. Now I'm gonna put everyone's soup in their bowl. I actually never put my food first, but I want to for the video because I want to end this so I can go eat. Yay! We've got our yummers, one more soup. Look at how delicious. I like a really soupy soup, so I had quite a bit of broth in mine. And that is my chicken noodle soup. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, leave comments, turn on notifications, do all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Wait, I need a theme song. Shally's cooking. Can you give me a beat? No. Poom to the poom to the poom. Poom to the poom to the poom. Shallots. Cooking corner. Where we cook. I'm done.